And because Donald Trump does so many despicable things, it is barely registered. But I think there's something about him that has this this instinct or this compulsion to desecrate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. And desecrate everything. And, and also to do things, <laughs> Ellie, that one would think are career ending. The way he desecrated uh, Arlington National Cemetery would be career ending for a normal politician. But his, his constant lies. But even this piece about saying, well, my building was the tallest until, you know, they brought down the world Trade Center. Now it's the second talk. I mean, everything he does is despicable. The reason why it doesn't end his career is because his supporters are just as despicable. All right. Like Trump's whole thing, he's a narcissist, right? And so his whole thing is to have a complete lack of compassion and empathy for everybody else. It's all about him. That's why he lies about 9-11. It's all about him, 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 me, me, me. It's He's probably the least compassionate president we've had in 200 years since yeah. Andrew Jackson. And it works for him because his supporters are just as ungenerous and have just as little compassion and empathy for others. So when he is seen out there uh, essentially... As, as you guys have put it, desecrating our national symbols. As he, when he is seen out there putting himself above all else, his supporters also want that to be the case. They want to do that in their own lives. They want they, that's how they think of themselves, and that's why it never hurts Trump when he takes these crass and and classless actions. It's because his supporters think that being crass and classless is actually kind of cool. Yeah, and they also.